back at it again here. Um, I wanted to talk to you about valley fever. Uh, as some of you already know, uh, Sophie contracted this over the last week or so here and uh, ended up taking her to the vet yesterday and she was in pretty rough shape. Uh, been sleeping, she was coughing and uh, lethargic, loss of appetite, diarrhea. Um, lot, she had all the symptoms, but uh, they're also symptoms of uh, things like congestive heart failure and stuff, so I was worried about that too and pretty stressed. But uh, got up to Lang Veterinary Hospital in, in uh, Havasu and they did some tests. They did a chest x ray and stuff, which will show that the lymph nodes and stuff were were inflamed and uh, you know, fluid in the lungs, things like that. So um, she presented like that. So they go ahead and went and started the treatment, um, uh, which is called, I got it right here so I remember what it was, flucosinol, 200 milligrams. And she's got to take that twice a day, uh, most likely for the next six to 12 months. Very expensive treatment. Um, some some pharmacies charge up to two hundred dollars a month for for the prescription. I got a uh, good RX uh, coupon and was able to get it for twenty eight dollars for a one month supply. And I plan to uh, uh, either go to a compounding pharmacy where I can get a better rate on it um, and have it drop shipped to me, or I'm going to go to Mexico and stock up on it and bring it back across. So that's the plan with that and. Uh, they also have her on uh, prednisone for the inflammation and doxycycline. Uh, I can't remember what that was for. I'm a little upset at the time, so I didn't. But another three different pills she's on, and she's actually got uh, cough syrup. <laughs> I never knew they made doggy cough syrup, but uh, it works really great when she's got problems with the coffee and it's keeping her awake. All the research I've, uh, I've done, uh, and these stats are from the CDC, and I'm not sure how old they are, but they came from the CDC, that fewer than 200,000 humans get valley fever. And uh, humans recover a little better than uh, animals do. Uh, 14,000 animals will get it every year, and 8,000 will die from it. Uh, so left untreated, you know, it's get a pretty high mortality rate. Only six to ten percent of dogs get it. Uh, uh, the University of Phoenix, uh, Arizona Phoenix has done studies on it. I don't think they've come up with any solid evidence why certain dogs have it and why certain dogs don't. Uh, it can be a, especially uh, dangerous for senior dogs like Sophie. She's 13 years old, first thing they did is check her heart and her liver and kidney function, and they're all good. She's got a strong heart, and pretty sure she's gonna be with us for a little while longer here, so. Um, it, it's a fungus that's, the spores from it are in the washes in the desert in the Southwest. It goes, it stretches all the way up almost to Oregon, and all the way back down through Nevada Arizona, uh, New Mexico, into Texas a little bit. So, um, not real common. I guess it's a rare disease, but dogs do get it. Uh, I believe uh, Cheap RV Living's Bob Wells, his dog Cody, has had it. So, I, I knew it existed and I'd heard stuff about it. There is a vaccine for it, but I don't know how readily available it is and how effective it is. Even the test to detect it is it will give false uh, negatives. So um, tests will be back for her within three to five days, and I'll let you know what comes of that. It's uh, not a cheap test; it's about a two hundred dollar test. But uh, just to let you know, if if your animals get this, you're looking at some money. So another reason to have a a, a good emergency fund, which which I do. I, I put money away for emergency incidents like this, you know, or anything. I want to make sure she's taken care of. She's my friend and uh, has saved my life. And I, I don't want to see anything bad to her. I want to give her the best life I can. Um, 
I'll let you see her right now. She's resting comfortably right now. Aren't you so? You say hi to everybody? You say hi to everybody? Alright. Yeah, she's a little tired. A little lethargic, as you can see. But, uh, on the mend. Yeah, she's not coughing nonstop. Night before last, she barely slept at all. She was up all night long, so I was up all night long because <laughs> I'm worried about her. But, uh, I wanted to just make a short video explaining what was going on. I know I mentioned it in the last video, but uh, I'm here at Schoolie Palooza, as you can see, all the buses and rigs around me. We're just relaxing, taking it easy. Um, uh, I don't think I'm gonna do as much, uh, you know, videoing as I was going to and vlogging as I was going to, but uh, I might get one or two rig tours in, so, and uh, maybe uh, an e-bike run around here later on uh, but I want to keep an eye on her and make sure she's comfortable and has everything she needs and uh, she just started this medication so you never know if there's going to be a reaction or anything and I know everybody will have natural and holistic treatments and stuff and everybody's got to do what's best for them uh, I chose uh, a good vet and that's who I'm going through I trust what they've done they've treated me very well kept me well informed but uh, it's a real thing, and I believe uh, there's some uh, humans now that have gotten it too. They've seen several cases in the last couple of weeks, and it usually follows the rain or, or moisture in the atmosphere. So don't ask me why. I'm, I don't know the scientific stuff, and I'm, I'm not an immunologist. So, but uh, got some uh, copyrighted music playing in the background right now. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off here and and. Uh, I thank all my subscribers and all the well-wishers and everything, and I hope you have a great day, and thank you. Bye-bye.